Hello everybody and welcome to Midnight Garage. And on this episode, I'm going to show you why my 59 GMC truck is the greatest hot rod on earth. So now obviously I probably don't even have to explain myself. You know, just, just look at her. This is clearly the best of the best. So I figured before we get started, I'll give you a little background on my old shop truck here. So, to start with, actually this truck popped up on Facebook, but not how you think. There was a fella looking for parts for one of these trucks. And I happened to see the post and a guy I know actually responded and said, Hey, I have this truck for sale. You have to take the whole thing. Well, the first guy didn't want it. So I immediately messaged the guy that I know and said, so, hey, what's the deal? And so he told me 1500 bucks, come and get it. Now it wasn't quite as you see. It had been sitting in a field, as far as I could tell, for roughly 20 years. So I got it towed home. Now the truck was kind of a part. Um, didn't have any interior in it, or no seat, I guess. You know, didn't run, obviously. So I got it home and kind of pieced it together. Um, got it running right away, that was no problem. Um, it turned out it needed a clutch, so I suspect that's probably why it was parked. So, so overall, you know, 1500 bucks for the truck. Put a clutch in it. I completely went through the brakes. Now, actually, the brake shoes and drums and everything were fine. But I did replace all the wheel cylinders, most of the brake lines, I think pretty much all the rubber lines and some of the steel lines. So I've gone through all of that. I gave it a... You know, just a basic tune-up, and I did replace all of the belts and hoses, any kind of wearing stuff. So just to make it somewhat reliable, which it has been actually incredibly reliable. So the reason I'm telling you this is because, you know, I've maybe got 2500 bucks into the whole thing. And it is just a ton of fun to bomb around in. I'm not even exaggerating when you say pretty much every single time you take this truck out, you get, you know, people hooting and hollering and thumbs ups and, and all of that. So it's pretty fun. So the, uh, I pretty much put it together with junk I just had around the shop, around the yard. The seat is actually the front seat of an old Pontiac car I've got out back. Um, I had a full set of old Chevy truck seat belts. I put those in. Um, yeah, just lots of little stuff that I actually had that didn't cost any money. I made the sweet console out of an ammo can from Princess Auto, complete with functional cup holders. Gotta have a USB port. And... I mean, a Bluetooth stereo with flashing light show? Come on. It is just like being at the disco. How cool is that? Stay tuned, and I'm going to go over the reasons why this is the greatest hot rod to ever exist. You can use it for hauling away your garbage. You can drive it in the rain. And 
you can do sweet burnouts. can even take it to the car show. My favorite part is that I can take my best friend everywhere with me, well, even when he wants to drive. Let's see you do that with your fancy hot rod, your fancy interior hand stitched by one-armed elves living at the base of the Himalayas. seriousness guys I don't consider this truck a hot rod or a rat rod or anything like that it's just a neat old truck I have an awful lot of fun driving it around people always get a kick out of it um, and you know at the end of the day it's a it's a useful vehicle I mean it's a truck and I, I use it like a truck so go out and find yourself some crappy old car or truck Spend a little bit of time and, you know, it doesn't have to be a lot of money and you can have something that that's just fun, you know, let's go out and enjoy it. So, as always, thanks for watching. Do me a favor and hit the, the like and the subscribe and leave me a comment on the video for sure. And, yeah, make sure you hit the subscribe so that you see what's coming next because you just never know what it's going to be.
Thanks again for watching.